Welcome to this demonstration of Safford Communications hosted voice over IP phone system APIs. In this demonstration we're going to show you a very basic integration and just give you a better understanding of how the API functionality works and how it can be put to work. What we're looking at at the moment is a very basic Microsoft Access integration. Um, with all integrations what we supply is a argument string which is a HTTP call which we'll look at in a little bit more detail shortly and that can be integrated into any system so Microsoft Access, any web based browser, Salesforce, Act, Zoho, <coughs> any of those suppliers can do that and you just need to speak to either your supplier or your uh, partner in the case of Salesforce, Sage or Act and they'll be able to guide you through how to uh, implement this. So just to give you a basic overview of what we're looking at on the left hand side of the screen here we've got um, some basic information so company name address and uh, very importantly uh, telephone number um, that's just a uh, mobile number that's in there at the moment just so we can route a call through to it um, on the right hand side here uh, as well as a little bit of shameless branding from us we've got an extension number because you're using a phone system and you might have multiple extensions and people might sit in front of different extensions what you might want to be able to do is uh, use just to tell the system what extension they're sat at and then it will route um, you know, obviously the uh, the inbound outbound calls to uh, to that location and we've just got a basic list of phone commands just for demonstration purposes today that we're going to look at and we're going to show you how one of these works now so all I'm going to do is I'm going to press make call and what will happen is it will pass through the number that's on screen and obviously this, this is working from a, a CRM or a dialing solution it'll just pull through that in relevant information and press make call and what will happen is you'll see here at the bottom of the screen I've just been called by the phone system so it's checking my availability I'm just going to answer that call and now that I've answered that call it's then going to ring the third party telephone number so what will happen now is that's just ringing my uh, mobile I'm going to answer that call and I'm now connected and uh, speaking, to, uh, speaking to my uh, mobile phone now what you'll hear at the moment is a little bit of echo I'm just going to mute my phone just so that we don't get that echo anymore well, let's just demonstrate the call's connected and what I can then do as soon as I'm ready if I was to press end call that call's now terminated and the call's ended again <coughs> so that's a really simple way of starting and ending calls you get that initial call uh, from the um, from the phone system when you press make call that's just checking to make sure that you are ready and that you intend to make a call obviously it uh, can be very easy to hit dial when uh, when you're not sure um, hold and unhold I uh, don't need to give a demonstration of that I'm sure you know what they are if you want to place the call on hold just press that button if you want to uh, unhold them there's an API for that as well um, transfer is a great feature um, so transfer will effectively allow you to um, type in the telephone number that you want to transfer to press the transfer button your call with that person will end and they'll automatically then be ringing the number that you're transferring to um, lots of ways of doing this in, in Access when we do the integrations um, we're able to give you a drop down list of all your contacts within Microsoft Access so you don't even need to actually just type the phone number and we can give you a lookup service um, with Microsoft Access Safford will actually take ownership of the integration for you for, um, for other um, parties you can come to us and we'll put you in touch with um, the, your relevant partner for that area you know for the uh, relevant CRM or dialing solution just taking a close look at the uh, the coding um, that's below um, so this is basically the um, the string that we'll give to you and just to explain it so it's a HTTP um, call and obviously you remove the brackets and the S and S makes it secure um, host name is us so we would give you our host name and um, this section here where it's got make call is ultimately what the API is doing so the make call will make a call if it was hang up it would be you know end call so on and so forth um, account and obviously it's all dummy information account would be the name of the account that we'd give to you password is the API password for the account. The extension number is exactly that, so it's your extension number for the um, phone system account. The from number is going to be uh, the account again. And um, what we'll then do is two places it asks you for a caller ID, where it says from number equals, then we've got 999666, etc. This would be the caller ID that you want to display. Phone number to call uh, is exactly that, it's the number that you want to call, so that's where you would pass the information through from wherever you store the um, the phone number 
uh, value. Caller ID name, uh, all of these arguments here are completely optional now. Um, caller ID name, so if you want to actually pull through onto your phone or onto the um, onto your soft phone the name of the business. So if I uh, give you an example again just by pressing uh, make call, um, what you'll see um, when that call actually comes through is um, the it will pass through the uh, the information that's been requested so that you can actually see um, on the on the soft phone the uh, name of the uh, call so you can see here it says uh, Safford Communications and that because we've got business name as uh, Safford Communications and it shows the number that I'm going to call here I'm just going to decline that so you can see there that uh, it's, it's useful just as a sense check to make sure you are calling the right number um, so where it's got uh, caller ID name equals, that's where you can just pull through a business name or a contact name. Caller ID number, so that's the ID that you want to display. So again, that just links through to the from number. Call duration, very rarely used, but what you can set is a maximum dial time. Um, so if you are using this in an outbound environment where you don't want people to you know, be ringing and ringing and ringing, sitting on um, ringing lines and uh, lowering productivity. You can set a max ring out time. So in that scenario, once it reaches 360 seconds, which is obviously very high, the call would just self-terminate. Most people tend to set that around, you know, 30 seconds, really no less than 30 seconds, depending on whether you want to hit answer machines or not. So if you've got um, any sort of CRM system that you want to... Um, integrate with a hosted phone system then you can give us a call on 0845 241 1008 that's 0845 241 1008 and if you just ask for the uh, integrations team which is part of the sales team then they'll be able to uh, guide you through um, best practice for implementation and if you're uh, using um, something like Salesforce or Oracle, Siebel, Goldmine, there's a, obviously a lot of them out there, Zoho and what we can do is we can just put you in touch with the um, relevant partner and they can look to integrate that for you. Thank you very much.